Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining directrix focus method for parabola. These are the different methods for the parabola. In the last video we have discussed about the rectangle method, parallelogram method, tangent method. Now it's turn for the directrix focus method. That is also known as general method as well as eccentricity method. So Let's start with the directrix focus method. Let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Take distance of focus from the directrix as 50 mm. Draw locus of the point P moving in a plane such that it always remains equidistance from focus point F and directrix AB. Give the name of the curve. Also draw normal and tangent at any point on the curve. So basically here there are three different objectives. First one, locus of the point P that we have to draw. Next second one, give the name of the curve and the third objective, normal and tangent at any point on the curve. Now let's solve the problem step by step. First of all draw the directrix and give the name as AB. And you know that directrix that means vertical reference line or the parabola. Now mark any one point randomly on this AB line and draw the horizontal line passing through this C. Now here once again very important point. Distance of focus from the directrix is given to you as 50 mm. So here this is the directrix. And so that you can locate the focus point that is exactly 50 mm from the directrix. So here you can see 50 mm. So I can locate the focus point. Next. Now look at this important description. Draw locus of point P moving in a plane such that it always remains equidistant from focus point F and directrix AB. So here. I can locate the vertex point that is equidistant from the F as well as the directrix. So it should be the midpoint over here. So here you can see this is the midpoint and give the name as vertex point P. And here you know that eccentricity that is VF by VC that is exactly equal to 1 in this case. And that's why you will get the parabola. Now draw the vertical line passing through this V point. Initially you can take the length randomly. Now set the compass with the radius VF. Draw the arc with V as the center so that you will get intersection point over here. Mark it as E point. Join CE and extend it. Now next draw the vertical line in between V and F with approximate equal division. You can take over here 4 or 5 lines also. Keep in mind that this distance are not fixed. Give the name as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so that you will get the corresponding point 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Next. Take compass, set the radius as 1, 1 dash. Here you can see. Draw an arc on 1, 1 dash line with F as the center. So take F as the center. Draw the arc on 1, 1 dash line. So here you can see. So mark it as P1, P1 on both sides of this CF. Now can you imagine my dear friends, what should be the next step? Yes, now you have to change the radius as 2, 2 dash. So set the radius, 2, 2 dash, draw the arc with F as the center on 2, 2 dash line. Here you can see two intersection point, give the name as P2 and here also P2. Similarly, now you can understand. 
set the radius as 3 3 dash and draw the arc on both side with f as a center so that you will get p3 similarly you will get p4 on both side now join all the points by the smooth curve but take care it must be passed through the v point because of v is the vertex point of the parabola so now join with the smooth curve so here this is your first answer draw the locus of the point p now second one give the name of the curve here you know that vf that is exactly equal to vc and so that your eccentricity is equal to 1 so i can say this is the parabola so give the name this is your second answer now third one draw the normal and tangent at any point on the curve so let's say this is the s point where i want to draw the normal and tangent so first join s with f now draw the perpendicular line to this sf passing through this f point and that definitely you can do with the help of the scale here you can see match the long line of the scale with sf so automatically you will get the perpendicular line which will intersect with the directrix line here you can see mark it as t point now join t s so that will be your tangent and perpendicular to tangent passing through this point s that will give you as a normal and that also you can do with the help of the scale so this is your last answer normal and tangent now at last what is the eccentricity in this problem write your answer in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate